leave the house to go and get my hair done because it's about time. Unfortunately, I couldn't get my hair done. Like I wanted to go into the new year with new hair, um, but that didn't work out. So I'm just going to go and wash it at the salon. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'll either get my regular corners that Naledi will put on my hair or I will just do the whole Travis Scott, Lewis Hamilton type of braids again. And then I will explain my discoveries about my ear and um, yeah, when I get back. So let's go. So sweaty. So it turns out there are no hair stylists, so I can't wash my hair today. I'm gonna have to come back on Monday, which is a bummer because I already removed my my other braids, so I'm gonna have to do it again. So I'm in the store next door because Nasipo wants hair food. 13 rand, I think. 125. Is this it? Yeah, I'm gonna get this one. So false alarm. I'm doing my hair. I'm just waiting to get it done. I'm sitting on this really nice couch. It's like all red. I love it so much. It's the type of thing like I could get in my house because I'm that extra. So this is how it looks before a treatment or a wash. I'm really not sure what I'm gonna do yet. But uh yeah. Hopefully it doesn't hurt because I'm like so scared to like comb up my hair. I'm such a scaredy cat. Once upon a time, I waited for the days to end. I never had a plan that ever seemed to go as planned. You want me in my video? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to? <laughs> Once upon a time. got wet and I'm supposed to keep my ear dry because I found out that I ruptured my eardrum it's not really painful anymore and apparently it heals after three months so I guess like right around my birthday which is on the 29th of March and then I'm just chilling over here because the dryer broke which is okay because it's so hot I can never handle it outside you guys I'm dying I just want to get naked honestly so I feel like I kind of look odd with my hair like laid back so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do next um Nalari gets off work really late today so I don't know if she's gonna be able to get some braids yeah. and some corners um and then I got some snacks so I got ghost loaves. This is like my unhealthy obsession. I love them so much. And then I also got some sour worms. But these are not the ones that I like. I like the really hard ones. These are kind of like ooh, super soft. And they're just, they're not necessarily sour. They've got like kind of like a sweetness to it. Which I don't like. I like sour worms. So before I get snacking. I'm hungry, so I'm gonna eat. Hey guys, so I am 
so lazy. <laughs> All right, so I googled like what's up with my ear, right? Because Google knows everything. Google's like my doctor. So, um, like I put in the symptoms and whatever, and then turns out it's a match with a ruptured eardrum. So I have a ruptured eardrum. How exciting! Not. <laughs> I'm sad because. <laughs> That means I can't like wear ear. Like there's certain things that I cannot do for like, because they say it heals after three months, and some like I'd say after a few weeks, depending on how big the rupture is. So um, I'm hoping it's small, but I cannot blow my nose, which is a problem because I I don't know. I've just been having a lot of mucus. If I could say I've been having like a lot of mucus lately, like I blow my nose literally all the time. Like every time you guys hear me doing this, there's like mucus in my nose, which is really disgusting. <laughs> but it's just, it is what it is. So every time I do that, I actually have to go and blow my nose, but I don't really want to do it. So, and I actually can't because that will just mess up with the healing and kind of make the rupture. Like it's kind of like a hole in my eardrum a bigger so um that is a little bit annoying so i'm feeling un uninspired again today i tried to take a few pictures it didn't work um but i will try again maybe tomorrow i don't know i worked out today today was leg day you guys and um I worked out like you know I pushed myself and stuff like that and when I got back into my room I literally sat here and then <laughs> and then I just passed out again and next thing I knew it was like 12 and I worked out at like 9 I finished I think at 9 so I think now I understand why people take supplements because after a workout you're just like oh my god I couldn't even get up but um still not I don't know if I no I don't think I'll ever take supplements I don't know I'll see so um yeah I'm just in my room right now I think I'm gonna take a nap I was watching some vlogs but they're boring now so I'm gonna take a nap and then we'll talk again soon I don't know when I don't know I don't know Alright, so today is Sunday and I figured I should just get back to work. I've been feeling really tired lately. So today was arm day and quite similar to yesterday, I got done. I finished up like most of my work and then I passed out again. So I think I'm going to have to actually look into getting supplements. I was just talking to my sister about it. I don't know. It's just very frustrating that I sleep for so long. Also today is um, the 29th day of like my rituals. So like I've been doing the rituals for 29 days. Well, I've been trying to do the rituals and my new routine for 29 days. But it has not worked out. But we'll talk about that when I'm done with what I want to do right now. So I want to film my um, questions answered video. First one of the year. Last one that I did I think was in October, November. Back when I had like braids. I don't know when that was but that was the last time that I filmed one and then I just figured I should do one today because I post I try to post them every Friday so I'm hoping that I can post one this Friday on my IGTV to a little series called questions answered where I answer just random questions about myself about my life about my childhood just anything so if you want me to answer any specific questions then you can go on my Instagram at nortanamatlang29 and drop some questions for me there so I'm gonna set up it's like five ish it's only four questions so this should be pretty quick to cry because this light is just not cooperating right now i don't know what to do <laughs> okay so um my light's not going on it makes me sad and i can't like film in my room with like the light that i have because my dad thought it would be so much fun to get me like a spotlight 
I don't even know what they're called. It's like a tiny little one. Right? So I've only got one. And these are meant to like go into like all the corners. But he died before he could get that done. You guys, I don't I don't even know how to change this light. I don't even know what's gonna happen when it goes out because I don't know, like the only light bulb that I can change is like a regular one and I'm even scared to do that one, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one. So filming's not gonna work out. Let me get out of here and get into proper lighting and I'm dying. It's so hot. I'm gonna take off this jacket. So, those rituals that I did, today's the 29th day, right? So today is supposed to be the day where I'm like, ah, oh, this really worked for me or this did not work for me. But I cannot, like, give, like, a do it or don't do it because I slack quite a lot. I do not wake up at 5 a.m. That shit fell out, like, went out the window. I don't even know when. Um, but I think December was just not the right time to start it. I was just so busy and you know, traveling to people's places and sometimes I just come back and I'm so tired, like I just don't have time to reflect on my day. And I know this sounds like excuses, but it's just the honest truth. But I feel good regardless. Um I'm not like stressed a lot. I'm just I feel good. I'm just sort of frustrated with the lights <laughs> that it doesn't want to go on. But I think if it doesn't go on I'm gonna be forced to do it natural lighting which is a little bit of a bummer but there's nothing I can do really so uh yeah so today is tonight I guess it's just gonna be an editing night I'm gonna edit this vlog and then I'm gonna brainstorm a few ideas for vlogs that I want to do I have so many fun things planned you guys are not ready I can't tell you because I don't want to spoil the surprise but I'm really excited someone asked me one of my friends Nelly asked me to do a get to know me tag right and I want to do it but I don't want to do it like sitting down I really want to be like super creative about it I don't want to just like sit down because I personally don't like sit downs I don't go on YouTube and look for sit downs and, like Q and A's and like get to know me tags no like I want to do it in a fun way like in a vlog maybe like go throughout my whole day and then answer questions like during the day and stuff like that I don't know really I'll figure it out so um I'm sorry that this vlog was just so much talking I hate vlogs like that those are not the kind of vlogs that I like to watch sorry <laughs> But, um, I'm really tired. Um, I already ate. I had some spheres, which is like, um, some Oreo cookies, but they're not Oreo. It's like, you know, not Oreo, I guess, but they're really good. Um, so, uh, yeah. I'm gonna end up this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I know that I've been, like, rambling quite a lot in this one. The next one will be so much better, but I'm just a mess right now. I have so much on my mind. I love you so so much for watching this one if you liked it give it a like let me know your favorite part in oh my god that was not like that wasn't <laughs> i mean give it a like and um let me know what your favorite part was in the comments and if you wish to see more of me you can totally follow me at notatana matang29 on instagram and subscribe love you